Oh, hey, Harrison. Can Hello you talk, uh, talk some about the edge rushers you have on this team? And also, Daniil Hunter was saying that they call themselves the edge department. Is that some yeah. kind of nickname that's, uh, you know, you, you guys know about that's catching on? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we have an edge department in our defense, you know, something that we pride ourselves on. And uh, we have a lot of guys that can do it, do it well, uh, you know, it's always fun to go back and watch the film uh, after a game. So I was able to break it down a few times. And, yeah, man, those guys were really humming, uh, doing some good things for us. And that's going to be big for us moving forward the rest of the season as well as this week. Stopping the run, you got to set edges. And, um, you know, it makes it a lot easier for us inside DT, myself, Buller, Husker, all of us. Um, if those edges are set, it's a lot less ground for us to cover to be able to gap and gap and a half. Um, but very impressed with our guys uh, for, for week one. So do you see like edge department t-shirts coming out or anything along those lines? Oh, I think so for sure. Harrison, I was wondering, um, yesterday obviously was a pretty physical performance by you guys. Um, some plays in particular are pretty violent. Um, and I'm just wondering like how you guys as a group um, – Get yourself prepared to play at that level of physicality when, you know, the way training is now in the NFL, you know, there's not a lot of it in, in training camp and, and pre even, you know, if you happen to play in the preseason. Yeah, you know, it's actually that's a, that's a really good question. And I don't know if everyone has the respect for I do uh, around the, the idea. I'm on our, our union's player health and safety committee. Um, obviously I've had a couple injuries in my career and it's just devastating. It is heartbreaking when you see a player go down with, with some type of injury and, um, you know, the limited amount of time we're able to do what we do, the long-term effects of, you know, maybe never being the same player again that you were, uh, you know, that's always in someone's mind, almost like PTSD. And, um, you know, you look at our injuries, the injury rate is over 200% in the national football league. The injuries documented. Uh, in, in a season is twice the amount of players that play in, in, in the uh, in the season. Um, and so, you know, driving to that first game or, you know, sometimes when I'm praying in the morning or whatever, um, you know, I, I, there's like a, you know, eerie, very emotional feeling of like, you know, this is the I'm, I'm about to go to war. You know, this is what I love to do more than anything in the world. I walk in that thing with not a single fear, except for the fear of maybe letting my teammates down. That's the only thing that I would ever fear. Um, but you always, you know, it's a very violent game and, and grown men thrown around in many different directions. Uh, that That is always out there. So, um, you know, jokingly, everyone's like, oh, this is the best your body's going to feel for the next six months, three months, what, four months, whatever. Um, but that, that's the real reality of it. And it's an emotional thing to think. It's like, dang, this is the best I'm going to feel. I'm about to go put my body through hell. And I hope that I train hard enough and I, and I stress myself in the off season well enough that I can endure. So does that sort of show, or I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but does that prove in your mind, given the way you guys hit yesterday, that you don't necessarily need to practice a lot of full speed hitting to be good at it? Um, I'll say that the, the this health and safety data would potentially support some of that. Depends on what you're threshold of injury is sometimes you'll see higher lower soft soft tissue and leg strains lower extremity strains um, but in the first couple of weeks of the season you might see a higher rate of some, some more severe injuries achilles acls um, in 2020 when we had the no otas and very limited training camp with no preseason we were really down on concussions really down on leg strains uh, throughout the season in a full year it was the healthiest year in the nfl um, but there, you know, were a lot of significant injuries. But, and so then you say, well, guys who are during COVID didn't have access to full weight rooms and full gyms. That's a whole nother thing in itself. But no, there's this thing about modern football. The Rams have done it and they just won a Super Bowl. We're doing it here and we're, we're feeling pretty confident, feeling pretty fresh. Uh, when I was with the Bills, even from my first year to my last year, the change in what um, the toughest team in the football, you know, I'm going to be the toughest team in the NFL versus we're going to be the smartest working team in the NFL. There's a lot of that coming. And um, I think that is a fantastic thing for player health and safety. Harrison, uh, just wondering, is the edge department open to anyone on the defense? <laughs> uh, I think you have to probably, 
I think if you earn the right, it is. You know, there's a couple a couple packages where we are, might be outside or maybe a corner will come down and set the edge and stuff. But it's just good to know that in our base calls and our in our stuff, we have an edge department. And how do you feel like the first game went with Donatel's you know play calling and just the communication and with the a new scheme and some new guys in there? I think overall, overall it went fairly well. Again, there's things that we need to button up. There's areas that um, we need. I'm sure we'll get some looks at this week is repeat runs, repeat concepts that might show up. Um, also, you know, we, we try to, you know, very thankful for the win and, and don't want to talk it down to any, but you want to be um, take it with a, almost a grain of salt, knowing that, you know, the next time we see that outfit, whenever we do, it'll be a totally different outfit at that time. The, the longer we play our defense, the more film that you're going to see from our defense, the longer you can break it down and anticipate it better. You know, I, I feel like me personally and a lot of other players that play analytically is you're a better player as the season goes on. You have more reps to see, hey, this is it's a run play. It's a pass play based on this this key I'm getting or this is what they do on. The, so you, you, you can, you know, kind of anticipate plays a little bit better. And I know that Aaron Rodgers is one of the best to do that. So the more film he has uh, of our defense later on, it might be a whole different ball game. Harrison, with that said, you got a guy like Ed Donatel on the block, right? So he he, can, he knows that. He knows how to stack that up. But Adam Thielen on the other side of the ball was just talking about seeing what you guys have been working on actually come to life. Those are his exact words in a game against a division rival, you know, against an Aaron Rodgers and company uh, that's coming at you full force. Um, it doesn't necessarily raise expectations like, oh my gosh, we can do what we've been saying all along. But he said, actually it does the, the kind of the opposite where you got to dial in, maybe hunker in a little bit deeper. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah. I mean, I would agree. I think that, um, you know, you it's a, we're not playing checkers. We're playing chess. And that's that's what um, any of those times you make it to the playoffs and you get a deep stress, uh, you know, down down the road at playing in those cold games and out later in the year. Um, that's a, a chess game for sure. So um, Donatel is one of the best uh, at doing it at, at winning those chess games. And as long as us as players um, make the plays that we're put in to do, uh, we should have a recipe for success. Hey, Harrison, uh, you and several of the other newcomers had key moments where you, you contributed significantly. I was wondering if uh, going back and watching film and then maybe connecting with some of the other guys that are new to the team this year, what it was like to see you all add something to the defense that may not have uh, been here last year? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good for us to come in and again, you know, they, they wanted us to produce and to, to play well. And I think that um, we've all done our best to put ourselves in position to do that. I like the way we played together. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I think anytime you see someone make a huge flash play, it's so good to see the other guys on the play that made it happen. And so you look at that goal line stand and I don't know if anyone's talking about um, Bullard, what he did at the three technique position, but he set that edge you know, shot the guard back, was able, I was able to get through, Zadarius was able to get around, EK showed up, but he's the one who made that play happen. And, uh, you know, other situations, you look at some of our sacks that we have, some of the pressures that we have, figure out why that is, is because our, our secondary had them locked down. So, um, you know, I think that you go to the film and after a big play like that goal line stand, I was all, I'm feeling pretty good doing pump. Then today I came in and dapped up bowls. I was like, hey man, that's all you, thank you. You know, so, um, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, hey Harrison, um, you talked a little er, a little bit earlier about having so many guys on the defensive front being able to move around, and I, I just wonder. I mean, like Daniel was inside at times, and, and on both sides. What is the biggest value of having so much versatility with guys up front and where they can um, align? Uh, along with the, you know, the chess game that we play, it's a matchup league. And so um, if we feel like there's a better matchup for us with somebody inside or somebody outside, or um, you might see a light offensive tackle who struggles with power. Well, shoot, maybe I go line up on him a few times. You might see a big mean guard who struggles with, you know, lateral movement and quickness. Well, let's go get a skinny guy on him and, and make him work in space. So um, you see matchups all across the field and uh, it's no different in pass rush.